Sorry, there's no bear market here just yet. I'm going to tell you why. So hi everyone, welcome to the channel. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell button, leave a like. Now I do apologise. I've clickbaited you in, but I need to get your attention. Why? People are saying that the bear market is here. It's not. Nowhere near. I'm going to explain to you why a lot of analysis in this video. I'm going to go over a load of coins. I'm going to freestyle it, right? So there's going to be a lot of cool stuff on this. But the market is pulling up. I don't think, certainly I don't think 65k is a top nowhere near. I think we're nowhere near the end of the cycle. Because if you've been watching my previous videos, you'll know that. And this is kind of always going to happen. We've had them before. This one, at the moment, is nowhere near as bad as the last one. Winner. So let's talk about it. So we'll talk about Bitcoin first, right? This is what we've got in terms of the dynamic at the moment, structure. As you can see here, the wicks are kind of telling us a little story that, you know, there's definitely some stepping up in the market. Buyers in and around this level here. Now, this level is kind of significant. Why? It's level with this level, a little bit of a pinpoint on this point here and resistance level. It's kind of an obvious point. It's kind of exciting to see that we have support levels but that being said it could also fall a little bit lower but i'll kind of explain why that could happen if that does happen it's fine right at the end of the day people are panicking that's why these drops happen now what happened a few days ago china block out black out block out block either way black out caused the hash rate to fall right panic through leverage trading number two happened so slippage stop loss activations liquidations do 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 the cascade and effect and then people selling the dip new hands paper hands he he um selling the dip essentially so that's kind of what happened now when bitcoin falls everything falls in usd you got to look at the btc pair to see where the supports are as well so let's talk about the obvious dynamic the first dynamic we need to look at is obviously the the bitcoin dominance chart this is what we got this was always going to pull up at some point certainly when bitcoin drops people panic money moves out of altcoins and it makes bitcoin a little bit more dominant the one thing that is kind of making me excited about the future is the fact that these wicks are still tailing downwards and upwards as well so it's kind of indecision but the the, the wicks upwards are pretty much bigger than the ones downwards which would indicate more people are literally trying to buy this dip essentially and buying altcoins because but altcoins where the money is essentially for them what i mean by that is People are thinking that Bitcoin is certainly more expensive and obviously Bitcoin profits from all these pumps, certainly like Dogecoin and other things like that is always going to have a dynamic shift. But we need to look at the obvious, right? The total two chart. So you can see on here, I've writ out and put on a load of dipping points. Now, these are previous dipping points. Now, if we go back, to the, we'll go back to well, where can we go from? We'll go from here. So you've got 29%, 29%, 28 33 35, 20%, 29. So the last big one, which I remember is quite savage and where a lot of people lost their shit was in February. <laughs> Bang, dumped hard. Now this is a total two chart. This is excluding Bitcoin. Why do I use this chart? It's for one reason only. Money, panic, it's funny. Let's be honest, right? When Bitcoin dumps, people cack themselves. Let's be honest, it happens, right? This is where you can see where the money flows. If this is still going up, brilliant. And what we're seeing here today is this. People, in my opinion, this is a 29% dip, give or take, in and around from this pinpoint top to actually it could be a little bit less than that if I just zoom in. There we go. Basically 29%, right, from that top to that bottom. And it's still holding quite nicely. Can it go up higher? Yes, of course it can. People will buy this dip, in my opinion, but... That being said, I said before it may go lower and let me explain why that could go lower. So when you start to think about it and you're zooming out, yes, it could go low. But if you go to the high time frames, you could probably argue that the EMA is somewhat far away. And if you look at the weekly time frame, it's quite a long way away. But I've always said and I've always maintained on tweets that if this EMA snaps too far away, it's always going to aggressively pull back. It just depends on what time frame you're looking at. For me... This is still bullish. But if you look higher and on the weekly time frames, it could actually fall a little bit lower if it so wants to. Could be interesting if that does happen. But what drives it? Well, I've mentioned it before, panic and fear. If you're looking at the BTC dominance chart, it's telling us that obviously being in altcoins is kind of 
where you should be realistically at the moment it's where the hype is but obviously meme coins and all kinds of good stuff but when you start looking at this in my opinion if this is to go bearish and it's fine if it does go bearish by the way not a bear market though bitcoin could easily easily go bearish for a few weeks or even a month or two sideways and maybe a bit sluggish be great for altcoins that'd be great for altcoins to see that but what is the dynamic play here so we got this top here this potential bottom and we could form a lower low we could this could retrace back up and form a lower high and then a lower low in and around this region that could and you can see how it pinpointed this point is bring us back down to basically 43k is it bearish though no is it no yes short term bearish but not a bear market which people seem to allude to is this likely it's somewhat unlikely but zooming out on it if we were to say let's just say we do go from basically around this point down to this level is it bearish well not really no because you've got this level here that could well be forming this sort of like trend movement hold on bear with me we could be looking at something as stupid as this, you know, where maybe it does retrace down a little bit or even as low as it can go, maybe 50k. Can it go further than this? Potentially, yes, but somewhat unlikely, I find. But I don't always plan, but that could be the play, could be the play, but just keep an eye on it. So that is what I think it may go low, but I don't think it, I don't think it'll sing that low, but. The supports are there. The supports are there, and it's very, very important. Now, when you look at the old coin market, it's pulling up quite aggressively today. And you can see already V chains already pulling away. You know, you can see that very, very clearly. It's got some huge support, it's demand, but it's also FOMO. Every coin from this morning is starting to pick up quite nicely. You can kind of allude to it. Now, if I just do do a quick refresh, we might see a few more. There we go. So last 24 hours. Things are popping off on certainly on the USD pair. It's fine. Dogecoin may well be the one that might suffer. People might take profit from a bit of itchy feet, basically, because it has been going absolutely aggressive. But the fundamentals are clear. There is huge demand for this market, and it's absolutely fine. So let's look at other coins. As I said, a bit of a freestyle of this one. Now, I've already alluded to it before in previous videos. We've got a few elements to look at. The one is the dollar chart. Dollar chart is still, in my opinion, coming down. It's starting to form. You can kind of allude to it. It's found a level of support here, but this has been an uptrend pulling up. It may well be ending soon. This may be of interest because of the stimulus printing more money, more usage of money, increased inflation, quantitative easing, all kinds of good stuff. That is good for crypto. If crypto is dipping and people are getting unsettled by USD, well, it may be a great opportunity for them to go, oh, hello, that's quite low. I might buy some because it's pulled back quite significantly, as I've already alluded to, a 29% pullback in the overall market, which is quite a big drop, essentially, and it probably will catch some fire in the brain for go, oh, hello, that's interesting. Now, other things to look at, I've mentioned it a few times before, Chainlink. Now, Chainlink has been, in my opinion, undervalued. If we're going to go from this low here to this top, We've had a nice liquidity grab in and around, and it's actually still open over the 382 on this daily candle. This could be the next leg up. And as I say that, I remember talking about this a few days ago, saying that this is still a dipping point. This was a chart, and people were panicking. People were tweeting me going, oh, my God, those, oh, they're all awful. Oh, you were telling me that to buy this. It looks absolutely fine. <laughs> it looks fine. Yes, that wick looks disgusting, but it's recovered. Absolutely fine. Other coins that I mentioned on that day, I can't quite remember now. Um, did I mention, I mentioned Chainlink, I remember that. Did I mention Polkadot? I can't remember. But there's a few coins that look all right. This one doesn't look as great, but at the end of the day, there's still a support level. Things are finding support levels, which is always important. As you can see there, it's just below the 618. So I wouldn't worry too much. Like If you're new in this space and kind of a little bit of a knowledge here, don't panic when this happens because the one thing that's always going to happen, certainly in this sort of situation, a bear market and a bull market, it doesn't matter what way you're going. There's always going to be some sort of correction. Even if you're in a, in a full deep bear market, you always get that euphoric kind of feeling. It's going to go boom and it pulls back and it goes lower. Whereas in a bull market, if we are in a bull market, let me get that clear. 
but it will feel bearish. It always does. Red feels horrible. When you start looking at the chart and you're thinking, right, I've read 200%, you forget about that. You've actually just lost 20% that day. Like, oh, you feel horrible. That's just the way it goes. But you got to look at this at a wider point. For me, and the knowledge here is, if we close fully below that EMA 21, I would not be buying crypto for a while. I'll wait and see what happens. That is where you stop buying dips and you start waiting to see where it falls. What I mean by that is, yes, you do buy dips, but you wait and see if it falls lower. It's kind of the point. You will put lower orders in because historically, if this does close below that point, historically, you could probably argue that we're going to go into a bear market. But it hasn't happened. Obviously, you can kind of allude to it. Even more so when it's like on a two or a three day chart, you're like kind of looking obvious. Now, that is kind of the hardest thing to say because you don't know what's going to happen. You can't tell the future. But the one thing that you will know, if you've got stable currency profit, you can use it. And whether you want to buy every week, whether you want to buy at certain points or whether you want to every terrible day you want to buy, you've got to accept one thing and one thing only when that does go below that point, it might go lower. And it does happen, even in a bull market, it does go lower. But chances are it recovers because he's still on that trend. The trend is your friend. But is it a bear market? No. Is it going to turn bearish in the short term? Potentially, yes. I would love Bitcoin to just chill out here and go sideways for two months because I think altcoins will go, and that could be very, very interesting for the market. Mm -hmm.